All right, that was James Holly. Janusz, uh, so, okay, I guess we're all set then, right? Arsenal, <laughs> fantastic project, fantastic season, but just short of winning the Premier League title because at the end, Man Manchester City is the Goliath that everybody has to beat. So before we move on to the next game, let's just wrap up the Arsenal uh, journey of, of 2022-2023. Well, like I said, you know, not, not much to, to, to add to that other than, you know, it's been beautiful to watch. It's a little bit different, right? We often think of the Invincibles and, and you know, those years. And sometimes I think it's good to shed, you know, that sort of narrative uh, because it, it's a different team, of course, and it's a different manager, different players. I've enjoyed watching them play, and that's always been the case for me with Arsenal uh, for the most part, right? I mean, uh, not the 1-0 to the Arsenal uh, years, but I mean, I there, there's a certain expectation when I watch Arsenal Football Cup, uh, uh, Club play. And I think those expectations, at least for me, have been met this season. Uh, uh, so, so. I don't know how many steps Mikel Arteta has, but for me, this is the number one step where I enjoy watching Arsenal play football. So, as we've mentioned, you know, striker, central uh, defender, and, you know, the Declan Rice type of player in the center of the pitch, right? And I'm not saying that it's going to be Declan Rice. It could be Caicedo, who today was a wonderful right fullback, uh, wasn't he? Or wing, or wing back, uh, because he it's was doing beast. everything. So, you know, that type of mentality in the center of that pitch, because they are short on that, that sort of a leadership role that may, just may, be able to get you that little bit closer to the likes of Manchester City. Yeah, Declan Rice is a good call, actually. I like that one. All right. Well, as we were talking, everybody, uh, and as Janusz uh, correctly mentioned, you know, I guess the pressure was added even further when Manchester City just, you know, breathed through an Everton side that thought they were going to give a little bit more. But that was earlier today. And Manchester City came out victorious 3-0. And we have our very own Mark Ogden, Augie, uh, that, that has a nice little report for us from uh, Goodison Park. Here it is. Check it out. So Man City win, 3-0 at Everton, and it's a fairly routine victory. First half, first 35 minutes, Everton gave it as good as he got. Mason Holgate probably should have scored the opening goal for Everton, but two minutes later, Ilkay Gundogan scored the opening goal for City, and that was it really. Harlan scored pretty quickly afterwards, and then Gundogan made it 3-0 in the second half. So this was a game that pretty much was decided in the first half. City got the win they needed. Everton realised by half-time the game was over. They were through Calvert-Lewin, and Jesse Gator made sure they keep them fit for the bigger battles ahead against Wolves and Bournemouth in their battle to stay up. But the key for Man City is that it came through this game without injuries, without any issues ahead of the, the Real Madrid semi-final on Wednesday, the second leg of the semi-final. So from City's point of view, it's a perfect day. Big win, move closer to the Premier League title. They need six points, but if Arsenal drop points between now and City's game against Chelsea next Sunday, it could be all over. So the treble is pretty much on. Six more games they've got to play. Three in the Premier League, two in the Champions League, one in the FA Cup, and really, it's all about Wednesday night against Real Madrid because if they win that one and City go through to the final, you'd expect them to win that against Inter AC Milan. FA Cup final against Man United, who knows? Could go either way, but on form it has to be Man City the favourites. And then you've got the Premier League, which is virtually within their grasp. So the treble right now is looming pretty large for Man City. It's hard to see them not win the treble. So you have to say today was a massive step towards that. They celebrated at the end as so though they won the title. All the players and, and even Pep Guardiola went over to the fans to celebrate. So. It's a massive day for Man City, it's a big win. And you've got to say the treble, it's a month away from Istanbul. It looks like they're going to win the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Champions League. It's all there for Man City. The rich just get richer. It's just ridiculous. But yes, the treble is very much a possibility for Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. Yanis, we have another fan question. It's a little bit more uh, about a certain player because as you watched and I watched, it was just a walk in the park for Manchester City. But Ilke Gundogan, once again with another majestic performance, his goal, his first goal, was just a, a touch of tactical beauty and then a beautiful free kick. Here's the question for you, Yanis. Gundogan, is he the best German Premier League player of all time? Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh, who, who do I like? Uh, Michael Ballack comes to mind. Thank uh, you. Yes. And, uh, tremendous. Obviously, two different players to a degree. Uh, um, but I would probably... That, that's Former first... US MNT manager, maybe? What's that? A former SMNT manager as well, striker for Toronto, Jürgen Klinsmann. Well, Gundogan, look, you know, I almost wish there was a penalty today. Uh, uh, right? <laughs> to, to get his hat trick, right? Yeah. Well, to get, you know, two games now, four goals for him, and a possibility of a hat trick. And we all know what happened last time when uh, 
uh, when Erling Haaland gave it to him. Uh, and by the way, I loved it that he did. Pep Guardiola, Guardiola didn't. So, so look, I mean, he's been tremendous. That goal was so good. Obviously, he had an assist as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he stays or if he goes to to Barcelona. I'm sure that Pep Guardiola, uh, if he if he insists, Ilkay Gundogan, Gundogan uh, that is, he'll probably let him go uh, because I mean, he's been such a great servant of, for that team. But but look, I mean, they're going to miss him. Although I did say that uh, about David Sil uh, Silva one time, and, and look what happens, right? I mean, we probably all <laughs> yeah. when he leaves, what's going to happen to Manchester City? And you're quite right. They just kind of keep on churning uh, this incredible talent. Yeah, unbelievable stuff. All right, we've got a couple more questions before we say goodbye. Uh, Janus, Man City related. And uh, I didn't even need to read this question from the fan because I wanted to ask it myself to you as... James Olley was talking, and obviously our very own Augie was talking. I mean, a remarkable achievement if Pep Guardiola's Manchester City end up doing what uh, Sir Alex Ferguson United did in the 90s with this treble. Uh, can they do it? Can Man City, what are the chances of them winning the treble, do you think, if it's like a percentile situation? Yeah, they, they absolutely can do it. We'll find out, you know, we'll find out for sure this Wednesday because I think if they get uh, uh, passed through... Uh, uh, through uh, Real Madrid, the psychological boost of going into the final and getting over Real Madrid. They were very, very close. Of course, everybody remembers last last season. I think that will, you know, obviously the league is here next weekend. Uh, most likely uh, they're going to celebrate the Premier League title. Uh, I think against Manchester United, that's in June, isn't it? Right. I mean, both uh, yep. FA Cup and the final, I think first week of, of June and then uh, June 10th is the final of the Champions League, I think. And, you know, that kind of snowballs. So I absolutely think they're good enough to win all three. As we know, there's always a little bit of a twist. And to me, the only twist that may be is the psychological one. It's not tactical. It's not talent-wise, of course. We all know what Manchester City are capable of. So, uh, you know, this is going to be some game against Real Madrid at the Etia. I mean, it's going to be absolutely unbelievable. And I think if they do get through... Uh, we're talking about Manchester City, who are going to win all three titles, and they're going to beat Manchester oh. United in the FA Cup. FA Cup, by the way, that you can watch exclusively on ESPN FC, ESPN Deportes, ESPN FC TV in the US and North America. All right, final question here. Erlen Haaland, the most, uh, you know, the Norwegian Viking half transformer, half human, who now already has 36 goals. In the Premier League, he's already passed Alan Shearer and Andy Cole. See you later in his first season. 22 years old. Let me ask you, how many goals will Erlen Haaland finish with the Premier League this season? Well, I remember the very first uh, uh, Kay Murray asked me that. She, she suggested it's going to be 40. And I thought she, you know, uh, she was not with us at that moment. I was like, yeah, 40. Uh, I think that's going to happen. I think because she called it, she is the real expert on, you know. When did she ask it, though, Janusz? When did she ask it? She asked. When, I, when did she tip it? Because if she said it like a week and a half ago, all right, fair enough. But if she said it like in September, then no, that's pretty impressive. The third or fourth week of the season. She she really. All right. Fair question. enough, Kay. She really did ask me that question. And and I thought she was cuckoo, uh, you know, <laughs> when she said it. Uh, I really did. I was like, what? 40? No possible fair play k well yeah. done happy mother's day k well done excellent 40 uh, because that's quite possible of course 40 goals unbelievable in his first season in the premier league for manchester city and by the way the fa cup finals on june 3rd on espn plus make sure that you catch that with us by the way and yes she asked it our producer rob saying that she asked it in the fourth week of the season yeah i didn't i saw that i didn't know that but i know it was early in the season she asked me that question i didn't know that's, right. 40, really. that's enough that's enough credit for k Murray. all right she, she's already got it okay fair enough well done but anyway excellent stuff janos michael luis miguel Echegaray, mark ogden with his report james Ali. make sure to watch janos and k for pl express as well and as we continue to discuss the Champions League, the Premier League, all the soccer action throughout ESPN FC on YouTube, socials, ESPN Plus, and much, much more. Have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.